This is the Goddess Sessions. My name is David Tara and this is Kobe. Welcome back, my wonderful soul friends. And if it's your first time here, it's definitely not by accident. We're here to align with the energies of the full moon. Today, the moon is in its third quarter, the Wanning Moon. It's about shedding what is old and outdated, creating space and balance, a time to rest and restore and pre prepare for the next cycle. It corresponds to women's inner autumn, which are days 21 to 28, the creative and luteal phase, moving from yang energy, which is action, into yin energy, which is slow and receptive. The moon is in Virgo, which is an earth sign, and Virgo's motto is, I analyze. Virgo's themes are planning, creation, creating healthy routines, and focusing on all that is healthy. We are going to do Kundalini Yoga to shake out what no longer serves us and cleanse our energy fields and our body. If you'd like to get any props that you enjoy in your practice, please do so now. You might need a belt, blocks, definitely have a blanket for Shavasana at the end. If you'd like to create sacred space by smudging some sage, burning aromatherapy or lighting some incense and put on a lovely, slow, relaxed playlist. Please do so now and then meet me back here on the mat. which is a cleanse, a kundalini cleansing technique. And the chant that we're going to use is Sat, S-A-T, Nam, N-A-M. So start in a kneeling position in rock pose. Check that your spine is elongated, bring the shoulders back, shoulder blades towards the spine. Place your hand on your navel. Breathe in. And out, just to center. And on the inhale, we're going to chant Sat. And exhale, we relax the belly, Nam. So Sat, bring the navel towards the spine. Relax the belly, Nam. Allow your eyes to close now. Quick, short breath through the mouth. Pull the navel in, sat, relax the belly, nom. Quick short breath, navel in, sat, relax the belly, nom. Navel in, quick short breath, sat, relax the belly, nom. Now with your own breath, sat. Nam. 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 Three more times. Sat. Nam. Sat. Nam, sat, nam. Last time, sat, 
Nam. Now we're going to do the full Kriya. So that was just for practice, just to get used to the movement. Keeping the tailbone down, bring the arms up, extending them towards the moon. Palms together, keeping the index finger pointing towards the moon. Interlock the rest of the fingers. Chin parallel to the ground. And we're going to chant Satnam, putting the navel in on the sat, relaxing the belly on the nam. Sat nam, 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 sat nam. Sat nam, 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 sat Nam 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 hold contract the muscles in the buttocks the back and the shoulders as you breathe deeply Release the interlock fingers so you're in prayer pose. Rooting the tailbone towards the earth. Inhale. On an exhale, forward bend from the hips until the palms come to rest upon the earth. Extending the arms and placing the palms together in prayer pose. Allow your body, your energy fields to integrate. and surrender into extended prayer pose. Allow stillness to transcend. A few more deep breaths. One last deep breath. Sign up fully through the mouth. Palms to the earth and then unraveling the spine. Vertebra by vertebra. 
And now, because Virgo is related to the intestines, the digestive system, the liver, the pancreas, if you have an empty stomach, we're going to do abdominal lock. So the easiest way to do it is to come to a standing position, feet more than hip width apart, and then we're going to rest down, rooting into the earth. So kind of sitting down. What we're going to do is with all locks, we inhale through our nose, exhale fully through our mouth, and with no breath for stomach lock, we're going to pull the navel in and up. So root down, get comfy, inhale, exhale fully, navel in and up. Release the belly. Inhale, stand up. We're going to do it two more times. Inhale. Exhale, come down. Navel in and up. Release. Inhale as you come up. Last time. Inhale. Exhale through the mouth, navel in and up. Relax belly, inhale as you come up. Now, <laughs> we're going to do another Kriya. It's churning, so after you do the lock, you're going to move the belly in and out. When people first do it, sometimes they just get a push out, a push in, it can be slow, but with time, it starts to flow. <clears throat> Inhale. Exhale. Lock in and up. And then churn. Inhale. Come up. Don't worry, allow the movement to be whatever feels comfortable for your body. It can be slow, it can be fast, just find your own rhythm. Two more times, inhale through the nose. Exhale fully, then lock and turn. Release, inhale as you move up. Last time. Inhale, exhale down, lock and turn. Release and come to a standing position at the top of your mat. We're going to move into some half moon salutations. Feet underneath the hips, root those feet into the earth. Tailbone down, elongate through the spine, tailbone to crown, shoulder blades, blades back. Inhale, extend the arms out and up into prayer pose, looking up at the moon. Exhale, palms down through, for, through heart centre, forward fold. Shake the head, let loose and nod. On an inhale, lift up halfway, shoulders back, navel in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise, bend the knees and raise up to the moon. Exhale, hands through the part center. Two more times. Inhale, extend the arms out, raise them up to the moon. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway, navel in, shoulders together. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise. Exhale, hands down through heart center. Last time. Inhale, backward bend. Exhale, forward bend. 
Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise. Exhale, hands down through prayer. Now we're going to move into triangle pose and we're going to do it two different ways. One is the normal and the other is reverse triangle. So ground your feet into the earth and then find which side you want to place forward. Tailbone down, elongate the arms, back foot 45 degrees, front foot 90 degrees, lengthen through the arms. Inhale, you might need a block. Exhale, forward fold. Not forward fold, bring the right hand down towards the earth. Lengthening through fingertip to fingertip, opening the shoulder and the heart chakra, looking up towards the moon. Legs strong, stable. Breathing deep. Inhale back up. And the next time you're going to twist the opposite way. So lengthen through the arms. Inhale. Exhale, that right, the left hand actually is going to come down as you twist. Lengthening fingertip to fingertip. On an inhale, rooting through the earth with your feet, we're going to come up, come forward, feet face forward, and then look to the opposite side of the mat, front foot 90, back foot 45, inhale, root the feet in, exhale, left hand comes towards the earth, lengthen fingertip to fingertip, opening the chest. One last deep breath. Inhale, come up and then face forward. Inhale, exhale, left hand, oh, right hand comes down towards the earth. Left hand towards the moon. One last deep breath and inhale, come back up to centre, walk the feet in and then come to tabletop position. Palms underneath the shoulders, spreading the fingers wide, earthing them in, knees underneath the hips, as we move into cat cow, aligning with her breath, creating a curve, tailbone to tip to crown. On an inhale, tailbone up, head up, belly towards the earth. Exhale, back towards the earth, tailbone back towards the moon, tailbone and Crown towards the earth. Inhale, curving, looking up. Exhale, curving, looking down. Moving with your own breath now.
now find some organic movements and flow, moving your body in any way which feels comfortable to you. Releasing any blocks and any tension. And then relax at center, walk the hands back. Very, very good. We're going to move into downward dog and then into puppy pose. So, on tabletop, curl the toes, push the hips towards the sky, the heels towards the earth. You might wish to pedal out those feet, walk the dog, navel towards the spine, shoulder blades in, and then step find your stillness and space in downward dog, neck relaxed. Walking the palms back, you may need to bend the knees, then bring the feet out further. I'm going to move so you can see me, and we're going to move into squat pose. Now, you may have, may need to like a block underneath your tailbone, so whatever is within your practice. Feet facing outwards, allow a bend in the knees, allow yourself to sit into the pose, ground the sides of your feet into the earth and allow the legs to move outwards but just make sure you do not push on those knees, okay? Lengthen through the spine, if you manage to move just to find more space. And then settle into the pose. Long, slow, deep breaths. Few more deep breaths. One last deep breath. And exhale, sign out. Movement in the hips before we get up. And then Pressing your heels into the earth, using the muscles in your legs to lift the tailbone up and straighten the legs. And then slowly keeping the arms loose and right doll, unravel the spine. Then we're going to move into puppy pose. So start in tabletop. And then walk the hands forward. Chin resting on the earth, shoulders relaxed, arms extended, navel towards the spine. If 
you hear snoring, that's cool B. Three more deep breaths. Press into the earth, raise and walk the hands slowly back, and then move in to rock pose again. And rock pose is very, very good after a meal, it's very, very good for digestion. So tailbone down, shoulders up, back, and then relax them down. The, the tips, the bottom tips of your shoulder blades moving towards the spine. Allow the belly, belly to be soft now. As you breathe deep into the chest, into the belly. One last deep breath, exhale, sign out. Bring the feet forward. Pull out your cheeks so you're on your sit bones. And then you're going to bring the right foot across. You can keep it there. And then the left foot is going, the heel is going to come towards the right hip. <clears throat> if you're not able to do that, just keep it extended forward. Bring the right hand back behind you, inhale, raise up the left arm. On an exhale, you're going to bring that elbow, bending at the elbow, bring it towards the right knee, palm facing up, and exhale, looking over the right shoulder, creating a spinal twist. Three more breaths. Last breath, exhaling out, release, looking forward, and then switch sides. Left foot comes across, right foot comes to left hip, lengthen through the spine, inhale, raise up, the right hand, left hand comes back, exhale, bring that right elbow towards the left knee, and look over your right shoulder, left shoulder. I'm sorry, I've dyscalculia, which also means that we're very bad with left and right. One last deep breath. Exhale. Release. Now we're going to come to a lying down position for Mukha Asana, which is gas release pose. So lying down, lengthen through the spine. 
lengthen through the toes, press the lower spine and mid spine into the earth. Inhale, raise the right leg up. Bend the knee, bring it towards the chest. On an exhale, you're going to lift, raise up the head, the upper spine, and hug onto that leg, pressing the thigh into the belly. Shoulders relaxed. Reading story. Inhale, release the arms, lengthen through the leg, exhale, bring the leg down, lengthen, toes to crown. Inhale, raise the left leg up, bend the knee, exhale. Hug that knee. Inhale, release, leg up. Exhale, bring the leg down. Now we're going to bring the two legs at the same time. Inhale, raise up the two legs together. Exhale, bend the knees, hug those legs. Relax the shoulders, giving yourself a hug. Inhale, release, raise the legs up. Exhale, legs come down into the air. So well done, you've made it to the end of the practice. We're gonna move into Shavasana. So if you come to a lying down position, allow space between your arms and your body and space between your feet. I'm going to stay in a seated position because Virgo is related to the throat chakra. And I have this, oops, I have this Tibetan bull which I got in the Himalayas in Dharamsala where the Dalai Lama lives. So I'm going to use this and allow those vibrations to move into your throat chakra, loosening any blocking energies in your throat chakra. So if you need to get a blanket, Just get comfy. Becoming aware of your breath and allowing it to slow and deepen. Breathing in through the nose, into the chest, into the belly. Noticing how the breath moves the bed, moves the body. Noticing the rise and fall. Breathing in a sense of peace, calm, and serenity. 
allowing this to infiltrate through every level of your being. Now become aware of your throat, the energy center in your neck, the front of the throat and the back of the neck, the energy center related to communication, speaking your truth, communicating effectively, eloquently, diplomatically. Imagine a blue ball of energy, electric blue. As you breathe in, you charge and cleanse it. As you breathe out, it expands. opening you up to new and more developed ways, higher conscious ways of communication. And as you breathe deeply, just focusing on your throat chakra and allowing the resonance of this Tibetan bowl to cleanse and clear this energy center and fill it with more better, high vibrational energy. Allow the magic from the Himalayas to transform transmute energy into high vibrations. Open to healing. Breathe deep, allowing the healing, the integration. Becoming aware of your body supported by the earth. The magical wisdom and energies of the moon bathing you.
know that you can use this Virgo energy to implement plans, use its creativity to come up with better ways to support your life. And with this practice, you've created space by cleansing what no longer serves, balancing, coming into stillness to rest and restore. So you may be reborn again. Allow gentle movements in the fingers and toes, elbows, wrists and ankles, and then stretch in any way which feels comfortable to you. Roll onto your side, into fetal pose, and just take three long, slow, deep breaths. Keeping the eyes closed, moving into any comfortable seated position for you. And then, palms facing up, we gather up the energy we've created today as a collective. Giving thanks to the moon, to the divine. Exhale, bringing that down through heart center. Becoming aware of the connection we have with each person who's doing this practice. Sending love out. And accepting, allowing love back in. In the circle of kindred spirits. Aligning with the natural cycles, with ancestral wisdom, earth wisdom lunar wisdom. <clears throat> Inhale. And on an exhale, we chant OM to close. OM. <coughs> I bring my palms to my forehead. And I say Namaste. I greet the divine in you. <coughs> Namaste. Thank you all for joining me here today. I hope you enjoyed this pra practice. Thank you for investing in your well-being and for aligning with the natural cycles. I hope you have an absolutely wonderful week. It's a winter wonderland out here. I don't know if you can see because we're in cloud now. Take care. Blessings on you. Om Akri Gajitha Kri from my heart to yours. Blessings. <laughs>